Hey everyone, Paul here from polymath.com and in this video I just wanted to quickly cover uh, a couple of techniques for undercoating your models. So uh, in the um, in your manual for Salt and Black Reach, they, uh, they talk about um, uh, for undercoating this, you start by undercoating your Space Marine Chaos Black, uh, which is basically the, um, all you do is you take a paintbrush, take your Chaos Black and you undercoat it. So that's one, one of the methods of, uh, of undercoating your models. Um, here I have another book that um, another method they talk about is um, essentially taking your models and lining them up in a cardboard box, turn sideways, and using the um, Chaos Black spray paint, um, basically covering up, uh, painting them down with this way. Now the benefit with using these uh, the Chaos Black uh, spray paint versus the um, Chaos Black um, paint like this is that the this is a gloss finish or a shiny finish this one is a matte finish and the um, I think this one actually uh, maintains more detail it's a thinner it's a thinner coat uh, compared to this one it's easier to uh, to maintain the the detail on the models so um, you're probably better off um, using this it's also f a lot faster instead of having to uh, to use a you know, paint it, paint on the paint with a brush for every single one of the uh, models. So, um, I definitely recommend using a spray. However, one of the things I noticed in here, if you look at this uh, picture, they show them all the models lined up, and then they spray them from the side. Um, it looks like a good idea, but it doesn't really work as well as it uh, would seem. Uh, what ends up happening is if you spray the model from the front, um, you have to obviously turn it around and spray it from the back. Uh, and if you look at something like um, like this base marine right here, uh, what ends up happening is the spray paint doesn't really cover the model very well. It's, if you're spraying from this point, kind of like where I am right now with the camera pointing at this uh, model, the, uh, the spray is not going to cover behind the gun here. Um, it's not going to cover from underneath. So what you end up having to do is you end up having to pick up the piece and, and trying to spray it from different angles and it's it's hard to get into all the different um, all the different angles on it. So uh, what I found out is a much better way of doing it is to basically just leave the models um, on the sprue. So before you cut them out, um, just lay them flat, lay the sprue flat um, on a piece of cardboard and spray it while it's flat with the uh, with the paint. And then essentially all you have to do is just turn it over and spray it from the other side and then you're done. Actually it's probably better to do uh, uh, a few coats so do a lighter coat and then wait for it to dry give it about five minutes turn it over um, give it another light coat and then turn it over again and do a second uh, second coating of each side. Um, with the with this finish with the black finish um, the spray paint you can see it maintains a lot more detail than the uh, than when you use like a chaos black, the, the more shiny one. So, um, yeah, just a quick tip before you cut out all your pieces from the sprue and start building them, um, do your older, uh, do your undercoating right on the uh, on the sprue. It'll make your life a lot easier. Then once you cut them out, you might need to just touch up a couple of spots where the uh, where the sprue basically joins the model. But it, that's not really a big deal. It's pretty uh, pretty easy and pretty quick. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.